welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading for July the 12th, 2018. And we are looking at the partial new moon solar eclipse in Cancer, which is occurring 12th slash 13th, depending on where in the world you're living. And as you will know, dates and times and geography are really not good for me. So look it up and you can see when it occurs in your local time. Okay, I'm going Greek because it's a biggie <laughs> it's eclipse season so we're going greek oh my god look he's here for the party okay already page of pentacles it doesn't matter yesterday it was a different tarot pack wasn't it and in fact before then it was my cat ones and it was the page of pentacles then okay we likey oops Interesting energies, people. I'm going to deal with this stripe first. Four of Swords and the Ace of Swords, both in reverse. This is about clarity and it is, again, a lack of it. We are still, I would say swimming, but I don't want to say swimming because there's no cups on the table. We're still um, floating because you can float on air, can't you, I suppose, in a kind of upside down mindset. In other words, it hasn't. It still hasn't come to light. Now, new moon energies. New moon energies for me rev up engines and they start things. But we also have a full moon, full lunar eclipse in Aquarius on the 27th. I feel like this new moon is setting up things to be revealed at the end of the month. And it will turn that frown upside down, as in it will give you the clarity that you need the right way up. For now, you're still sort of semi in the dark. We are still semi in the dark. Four of swords in reverse means this will feel narky and bothersome. And you know what I'm going to say. Again, page of pentacles. This is about a season and a time for everything. And also about um, sowing and reaping. Okay, there's going to be a lot of sowing and reaping. Then we've got this bad boy, Seven of Swords. Hello, Seven of Swords. What I like to call my sneaky fox card. And look at that little moon in the background there. Mm -mm. For me, this is revelations at the end of the month about whatever that is. There is some thread of what's the word I'm looking for I suppose I want to call it deception you know the moon is associated with deception but it can be on the lighter scale which is more of illusion or it can be self-deception honestly I don't quite know that's what eclipses are all about if we knew, we'd know, <laughs> wouldn't we, people? Oh, my God. <laughs> so I've clarified the Seven of Swords. Page of Wands, this is the desire to rush to know a secret or to rush to revelation. Six of Pentacles in reverse is not going to be given freely, okay? And then the Page of Pentacles again. <laughs> Hello, Page of Pentacles. Hello, Mr. Spreadsheet. Okay. I'm very strongly getting the message that we can't pry the lid off that box just yet. It's all in the divine timing. Things will be revealed. The burgeoning moon will reveal, okay? Now, apart from that, we have the rather lovely Three of Wands and the rather lovely Four of Wands. Thank God for that. Three of Wands. This is about... This is Jason and the Argonauts. This is Jason with his one sandal coming back to claim his birthright, coming back to claim his crown. It's a rather positive card. It's what I call my building fires card. 
So it's coming back to claim what's yours. You can't do that until you know what's been taken or what's even being threatened, as it were, the Seven of Swords. You can't correct the wrong until you know what the wrong is. You may feel it, but you don't know it. And that is about getting the information. Then we have the Four of Wands. I love this card. It's like a partial victory. It's like some stability. It's if you can see there in the Eight of Wands, that ship is in the background where we have movement. We have double the four. I feel like this is a consolidation of a certain level of success with something. Where you feel you can kind of draw a line. It's not all the way, you know, it's not the Six of Wands, which is the kind of victory card, but it's definitely like um, if you were climbing a mountain, you'd make it to certain base camp. That's a nice base camp to make it to. It's a celebration. It's enough to cause celebration. It's enough for even the Page of Pentacles to, um, to put down his pentacle and have a little glass of champagne, you know, just for that small time before he gets back onto his mission. Of course, make sure you do your new moon rituals which is uh, setting your intentions, asking for what you want. You can even write them on paper, if anyone writes on paper anymore, I do, and then put them under your pillow and sleep on them. Ooh. Yeehaw, I love this card. A change in the wind, isn't there just? It kind of exactly matches the sky outside at the moment too. The story's just beginning, okay? That little moon on the top. The story's just beginning. This is a series of Cancer Capricorn eclipses that are going on throughout to 2020. So there's a long way to run, but July and August is a story in itself. You've just opened the book, okay? And no, you cannot know. <laughs> it's always very dissatisfying to, to skip to the end, okay? Even if you did in this circumstance, you'd find the last page ripped out if you tried. Let's have a Healing with the Angels Oracle card. It feels like a real mystery. You know, the other day we did a reading where we talked about Agatha Christie and I'm getting that kind of vibe again. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Retreat back off but in a nice way you know I was gonna say rack off then like they used to say in home and away rack off I used to love that back off or rack off you know whichever way you want to call it it's a step back but it's not a step backwards okay page of pentacles twice mr. spreadsheet call your jets stand in your field hold your pentacle if you want a private reading, you can book in the description box below. Check out your July 2018 readings. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates. Namaste.